Hello there, guys, and welcome back to Rogue Love, where you're looking at the last of our seven day roguelike challenge roguelikes from 2008. Uh, Mega Man RL. When I say last of all, it's not the last one that was uh, completed, it's the last one we were likely to find. Uh, there were listed at 10 successful roguelikes for the challenge. We have managed to locate and, and get working, as far as I can tell, six. We did not find Time Rogue by Grey Knight. We did not find Tribe by Cadwiel. We did not find Trap Rogue by Nate879. And we did not find Chrysalis by Sinoth. Uh, we'll keep our eye open for them. We'll also keep our eye open for any of the uh, failed, uh, failed uh, seven day roguelikes of this year and unknown ones. But um, like more than likely, this is the, uh, the end of the road for, for this particular journey. Um, there are some things, before we dive in, there's one last thing i got to mention. Um, I've been working again a lot on my own um, video game, my own roguelike, uh, Caverns of Zaskazian 2, um, which is great, it's coming along wonderfully. But that involves a lot of coding, and when I'm stupid about using a computer for too long, as I've mentioned many times on this channel, I begin to get problems with my arms. It's possibly due to back problems, it's all stemmed from doing visual effects for a film a few years ago where I spent hundreds or th I guess thousands of hours uh, sitting at a computer and it added up and it caused some problems um, but it's been creeping back in again to the point where it's becoming annoying again or more than annoying becoming dangerous again um, the only way I've learned so far to really treat it uh, is to stop using a computer um, which I've been doing the last week or so I've been doing a lot less on the computer not nothing um, but I, I give this as a, a, a heads up that there there may come a time in the very near future where we either have to cut back to one video a day instead of two videos a day, or in a worst case scenario where I'll have to step away from the computer entirely for you know multiple weeks. The last time this got bad, I had to step away from all computer usage for five weeks. It was about uh, I don't know four or five months ago. At that time, I had a bunch of uh, uh, Moria videos that were still backed up that were going to come out, so I I still had content. If this happened now, I don't. I have like maybe five or six days worth of content ahead of me at this point. Um, so I hope it doesn't happen, but it may come to the point where I don't have any videos for uh, for a few weeks. We'll see. But I'll, I'll keep you apprised as best I can. Okay, let's dive into Mega Man RL. This is based uh, on Mega Man, the Nintendo video game series. Uh, another game by Slashy, aka Santiago Zapata, who has been a very prolific roguelike designer we've seen so far. We've seen a lot of his games. A lot of them, uh, see here, well, Mega Man RL, Metroid RL, um, the uh, Zelda RL, as well as Castlevania RL, all have been based on Nintendo properties. So clearly this was a gentleman who grew up with uh, with Nintendo and was very uh, enamored with the system and, and, and the various games. Um, as I've mentioned more than once, I have never really used a Nintendo system for more than a few minutes at a time, say at my uncle's house playing Duck Hunt or something. So I'm not familiar with any of these uh, any of these games. Um, and a lot of times uh, I've noticed Nintendo games tend to use very proprietary monster types, which is which is cool. It's a good thing. But when they're not saying it's a goblin, when they're saying it's a Zila, say, I have no visual reference, so it makes it very hard for me to to get into these. But I'm gonna do my best, obviously, uh, as always. Let me just double check a couple of things before we. Uh... Nope. There doesn't appear to be a uh, a doc file to go with this, so we are playing this blind. I've, uh, I, I checked for one earlier, I'm just double checking, I didn't miss something. Um, but let's dive in and see what happens. We're going to go with a new score. Why do I not hear anything anymore? If I turn my volume down to that point, there we go. New game, not new score. New game. Record name? Jeff, man, let's just, let's be old school. Alright, here we have a bomb man, we have a cut man, a fire man, an electric man, or an, a mega man. We can choose whichever one we want to play, I think. Uh, as in, like, a cl class choice. Let's go with mega man, because... Hells, this is Mega Man RL. I'm pressing E. Okay, there we go. So we are a little blue ad. I believe that is us as a Mega Man. Now, what can I tell you about this? I have seen a silent video. Um, Santiago was actually very conscientious about um, recording videos of his games as they came out way back when. So there is a single video that I've been able to find of Mega Man being played briefly uh, for like a minute and a half or something on, um, on YouTube that Santiago himself recorded. But there's no sound. He doesn't tell you what's going on. You just got to kind of figure it out. So Buster 5 on the left, I have no idea what that is. Um, but I can see, what I can tell you is this. We saw with Mega, no, not Mega Man, Metroid RL, a weird hybrid system where we had a top-down view and a side view and some other view that I'm not sure what it was. It was like three views. And I found it confusing, but innovative. This one is 
very innovative, but as far as I've seen online, it is purely a side view. We are literally looking at a platformer, a la early Mega Man games, um, but in ASCII turn-based format. So that should be really cool. I'm kind of excited to try this out. If we press Z, let's just test it. Z. You can see we're jumping. Um, how do we pass our turn? I'm going to press 5. Pressing 5 seems to pass my turn. Good. So you can see that's how we jump. If we press X, there, we fire, and it, it travels at a set uh, pace. Um... Let's do L scan and see if we can see anything here. What these things are, it's not telling us. Unless we gotta press enter or something. Or space or something. No, that was uh, space takes out the mode off. So maybe if there's a monster there we can uh, we can do it. I can see B Buster has gone down to four. So I must have used a buster, whatever that was. I hope that's not like I have a set number of shots. Okay, to the right appears to be the end of the screen, so we're gonna go over here and jump up this thing. Uh, there's also uh, S for setup. Let's see what that is. Okay, no. Nope. And let's get out of that by pressing space. W for w stages? Shift W? Okay, no, nope. okay. I hope we didn't start at the, like, the final stage or something. I hope it's not. What the fuck? I'm... Let's go back to E, Mega Man. I don't know what that was about. Maybe you can change what character you are. So I pressed Z and now I'm pressing left to continue jumping to the left. Oh, I'm, I thought that was in a. You can't jump on mid-air. I thought that was something I could jump on. Let's try this again. Zed. Uh-oh, I can't jump on that. Zed. Well, I don't know how to get out of this area. <laughs> can I jump when I'm in mid-air? I'll try it again. I said you can't, but let's try it. Maybe you can if you're a certain character type? I, I saw him... Um, look above the little, the little stick man figure to the left. Um, you'll see a, a greater than symbol for the moment. That's showing which direction we're facing. That's kind of interesting. Um, but I saw a letter appear when, uh, when we reached the apex of our jump. Let's try it again. Z. Oh, you see right there. Can I press it again now, Z? No. Can I press J? Because there's a J there? No, maybe it's saying we're jumping. We're jumping to the left. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try a different character. Uh, I'll try Shift W again. Uh, I can't. Why am I... Can oh, yeah, I can. Let's try a... Bomb Man. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, okay, we are on a different stage. Okay, here we go. You can't jump in there. Okay, well, I took Bomb Man instead. Alright, well, I can move here. These are, what, trees or something? Axes? Giant axes? Trees, I betcha. That's some sort of thing shooting out of there. The bomb, the bomb, bomb, the bomb, bomb, bomb explodes into four smaller bombs. You're going to have a particularly hard time with this viewer because, uh, as I've mentioned before, the color of deep blue that is often used in roguelikes, and I don't know if they only have 16 colors to choose from or what, but it seems to be a fairly universal decision of, hey, let's use this dark blue. It's actually a little hard for me to see on my screen, but it is impossible to see on YouTube. I don't know if it has to do with the compression or what, but it never shows up well, so um, be, aware that I, be aware that I'm aware that you're going to have a hard time seeing this. I tried to go left and it said you bump into the concrete tower. I don't know what that's about. And right, I bump into the concrete tower. What the fuck? What is this about? Maybe not. Maybe it's an old message. Zed. Okay, I got over. Zed. Oh yeah, we're there. Here comes a bomb, bomb, bomb. Let's let, just do an L to look at it. Let's see if we can tell what it says. Anything about it? Bomb, 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 bomb. M for extended info. Like monster memory. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Fucking <laughs> Nintendo, eh? Is a football-shaped robot. Originally designed by Dr. Light for demolishing buildings. Okay. I have no idea what our mission is in this. I, 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 it, it doesn't seem to be... I'll, I'll double-check. But it doesn't seem to be, as I said, a, a, a triple-check, rather. Uh, any kind of text uh, file to accompany this. And there was no opening story, so I really don't know what we're doing. It says here we're playing 0 0.0.7... Oh, DRL. As I understand it, this is version 0 0.0.8. That's what I have it listed as. I'll include a link to where you can uh, get it, obviously. I'm going to pass my turn to let that bomb 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 go by. Then I'm going to press Z. Whoa, something fucking exploded, and I got hit. You're bounced back by the bomb bomb bomb. Let's pass our turn and see if another one comes out, no? Alright, let's just go. What is a V? It's a a ga a gable wall. Ga gabe gabe yo all. Gabe yo? The fuck? Not like a Nintendo. Um, it might be that these are incidentally bomb 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 is obviously just a reference to bombs. Gabual may maybe a a Japanese word? I don't know. So please, if I'm, if I'm, I seem like I'm making fun of a, of another language, it's not my intention, I'm just genuinely, I don't know what this word is, and I find it very funny that so many of their monsters are bizarre, I don't have a visual 
I have no idea what a Gabuol is, but here we go. The Gabuol, first of its kind in the Gabuol series, was originally a security robot which would detect intruders sneaking into a base and prevent them from getting deep inside. Okay, you've killed zero Gabuols. No Gabuols have killed you. Well, that's good. Um, let's get out of the mode pressing space. Let's try and uh, jump up. I'm going to pass a turn and I'm going to go left. Okay. Then I'm going to jump and I'm going to fire as a passive. I'm pressing what? X? X. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Okay, that's, that's why some, sometimes I've been noticing it, it. I press a direction and it's not moving. It's because the first time you press a direction, if you're, if you're changing directions for your facing, that's what the key press does. Okay, that guy left, so I can't uh, shoot him. But I can't hear, I bet you. I shot. Energy. Okay, we, we can see a, a Gabuol and a weapon energy Pell. <laughs> you fire your buster. The Gabuol rushes at you. I'm going to jump over it in case I didn't kill it. I did kill it. Okay. And I got it back. Okay, so it recharges it. Oh, is that a ladder? Is there any chance it's a ladder? It is. I can go up this. X. Whoa, I fired it the wrong way. X. There we go. I got it. It didn't recharge, unfortunately. So I have killed two of those now. Oh, fuck. I was scratching my side, and I accidentally hit the volume, and it became blaring in my ear. Okay, let's try pressing Z to continue on up. Let's pass our turn. Go right. Oh, I did that wrong. Let me try again. I can just climb the ladder. Why well, do things the hard way, am I right? Let's go Z left. Then Z right. Ugh. Z left. Let's go here, then here. What the fuck is that? L to look. A Mambu. A shelled Mambu. Mambu was an anti-aircraft robot, as well as a security robot used to counter enemies trying to sneak into bases. Okay. This is kind of cool. I, uh, you, don't, you don't often see pure side-scroller turn-based things. It's, it's an interesting experiment. Uh, we're going to the little right as we want Zed. Okay, I got on the ladder. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, I can't can't climb up in here. Can I, can I jump up in here? No. Okay, whoops. Oh, I can't go into this way. What the hell? Where am I going? Can I go down? There's another fucking V. Gabule. Let's let's take a look at it and see what it says about how many we've killed. Just curious. I've killed two. Space. I guess I'll fire my buster at it. Oops, I'm in my mode. Look mode. All right, I did, and it didn't leave a Gabule th or Pell behind. What the hell that is? I'm getting. I'm running out of ammo somehow for some reason. I might have to go to the left here and jump. It doesn't look like these guys are bugging me. Let's go left. I'm guessing that the uh, spikes, if you land on them, will hurt you. What is that? It's an enemy generator. Can I get more men, men in? Oh, I see. It, it creates enemies. Alright, let's try... I don't want to press Z right now to get hit by this guy. Let's at least he's pass over our head first. What the fuck? Let's do it now. Uh, fire my... Fucking X. You fire your buster. Is it my buster going left there? Let's try firing it again. You can't jump on midair. I wasn't trying to... I was. I, was. I meant to press X. Canceled your fire buster. What the fuck? I'm not trying to cancel any fire. But I, got the, I got the thing. That's what I was trying to do. Zed. I'm go back to the right. Come down. Ooh, that was close. It's funny, it's turn-based, and it's still like, oh my god, I gotta dodge this. I'm not sure there's a point in Oh yeah, I can go up this ladder. Oh! Did it get me? The Mambo opens his shell! I don't know what that means. I don't appear to me. I have no fucking bullets. How do I get more bullets? I have no idea. Can I ask for setup again? Select weapon. I only have the one weapon. So apparently I'm out of... Out of rounds. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Game over? What the fuck happened? What? What? You were destroyed by the spikes. There's spikes there? I didn't see any. Let's try one more time at this game. 
He scored 1,100 points and survived for 458 turns. This is very interesting. Um, store experiment info? Uh, let me just get over here. Yes. All right, we're at the 15-minute mark. Let's try this again. Uh, let's try a different character. Record name. Likewise, Jeff, man. I want my own high scores. Shall we try... Let's try Fireman. Greetings, Jeff. Well, unless unless we're not really that. Let's see. This is a different stage. Maybe this is cho choosing a stage. Welcome to the game. Oh, press... For God's sakes. Um, I'm pressing question mark, and it's not doing anything. It says press question mark for help, but... Uh, no amount of pressing it is helping. With, with or without the shift on. So I'm afraid that's not going to work. That doesn't seem to have been implemented. Maybe it was something he intended to implement and he just didn't get around to it. Let's climb up this. There's a Susie bot. Let's look. Oh, that's an enemy generator. Let's get over there and fucking fire at it. I'm going to get closer because I don't know if my fire has a limit. What the hell's... Is that... What, what is that gaping space to my right? Let's try firing. You fire your buster. So again, we have the same thing. I guess we're on the same stage. I guess we're not really a fireman. We're on the fireman stage. I'm going to pass my turn, and nothing's happening. Why did I not fire at it? I'm going to jump over it. All right, well... Oh, it, it teleported or something. It's a bomb, bomb, bomb! The bomb, bomb, bomb explodes into four more smaller bombs. Woo! <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> it's, it's a different way of thinking for roguelikes, that's for sure. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> enjoying this level more than I did the other one. For whatever reason. Maybe because I actually feel like I'm getting somewhere. Like literally getting somewhere as I'm traversing space. And time. Of course, it's, it's endlessly looping the same type of area, so I hope I am getting somewhere and not just like, you know, on some infinite loop of journey here. The fuck? It's got to change sooner or later. This is the same goddamn thing over and over. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe we should try going to the right. You can't jump on midair. I wasn't trying to jump on midair. I was trying to... You, you bump into the metal floor. Okay, whatever. Let's go right, because... Oh, no, there's no way to go, go here. Oh, yeah, maybe there is. Although we'd have to we'd have to get rid of that fucking X, I assume. Let's try one more time. Let's just go over near it. It doesn't seem to be moving anymore. Alright, let's try this again. I'll try firing again. Didn't do anything yet. I guess we can't hurt it. Alright, didn't didn't need to as it turns out. All I did was waste a buster. I don't know that it makes any difference that I'm going this way. As far as I can tell, whoa! Going that way made no, had no appreciable impact on the game, and I seem to be climbing endlessly through the exact same terrain. Am I missing something here? Let's try an experiment. We've climbed to like really fucking high, right? Let's try jumping to the left. And, uh, we'll probably end up hitting that fucking bot. But, let's go up here. Whoa! Jesus, that was close. Alright, we're gonna go here. Come down here. I'm gonna jump to the left and see how far we fall. If we fall, like, just down one floor, then we'll know that we... We haven't really climbed. Ah! Fucking X's! Ah, X's! The fuck are we? We climbed a long way. Okay. Was there a point, though? Let's try one more, but let's not go to that fucking level. 
Dr. Light experiment ring of this row is destroyed by Susie Bot at the Fireman stage. Am I an experiment? Is this like a fucking uh, portal type thing? Store experiment info? Yes. Alright, space. Let's do a new game. Jeff again. Let's try Cutman. We're on the Cutman stage, okay. But we are still we are still fucking Mega Man. Oops, I pressed the wrong. I fired my fucking buster for no reason. I pressed the wrong key. I had no problem with finite ammo, but I don't know how to get our ammo back. And it looked like once, once upon a time we did. And not since. Uh-oh. You're bounced back by the Susie Bod! X. Alright, we got him and we got our Pell back, whatever that means. There's a red Kamadoma. Let's see what the hell that is. M. Red Kamadoma. Kamadoma is an initial model of a cricket-type robot created for protecting crops. However, it often damages farmland with its jumping, and so it is seldom used now. The name comes from a Japanese cricket, the Kamadoma. Alright, well, it confirms the fact that a lot of these names are probably Japanese in origin. With the exception of Susie Bot. That sounds distinctly American. Or North American. Let's try not to fire at them unless we have to, because we have such limited ammo. Um... What the hell are these E's? Blasters. Is that, do I want those? Blaster. No. Originally a wall man is a security robot for complexes such as bases. I don't they're weapons for me. Hmm. I'm facing the wrong way, damn it. I jumped up so I could turn to the right midair. And I'll come down and uh, press X for fire. You fire your buster. I accomplished nothing, apparently. Zed. Uh oh. <laughs> this is kind of intriguing gameplay. I, I'm still confused what happened on that one level. Do I want to go down here? I'm also curious if they're if they're truly roguelike levels in the sense of are they? We, we should test out the fire level again and see if that happens again. If we get the same fuck me pattern. Okay, let's try one last time. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play the opening level, like uh, not the opening level, the fire level, because we just saw we we know what that pattern looks like, having seen it like fifty times. Um, just to see if it's um yes, story. Just to see if uh, but let's yeah, bomb man, right? That's what it was. No, it's fireman. Just to see if it's the same level. No, it looks like it might be different. Maybe not. No, maybe it was this thing. So I'm not sure it's a roguelike in the traditional sense with, a, uh, with truly, um, what do you call it, for love of God. Uh, is this what we wanted? Maybe this is different. Blasting that guy. This feels different. Maybe it's different. I don't know. Ah! Oh, I can, I can kill them by jumping on them. Oh, maybe not. I just literally got on top of them. Accomplishing nothing in the process. Going east for now. Whoops! I need to jump down there. Oh fuck you! What the hell are you doing, cricket? Oh, he, he jumped on me. Maybe he doesn't hurt me. Ah! 
bounce back. Okay. And he's just an obstacle, but he's not like a threat. Can't get up any higher here, let's just go down. Again, I have a sense that I'm getting somewhere. I don't know that I actually am, but I have a sense that I am. X. X. Give me that Pell. I got a more prompt. That's for some get one of those. Have to go left. I don't have much better way of commentary right now because I'm not sure what else to say. Oh, this is definitely. What is it lava? I'm guessing. I don't think I can look at it, but let's try. I can't look at it. This is doing two of That's lava. That's what I intuit it to be. Oh, I fired my fucking gun for no reason. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back here. Let's jump straight up, turn to the right, and pass our turn until we land. I don't know. I guess I didn't have to jump, did I? That way when I jump, I'm already... Whoa, fuck. So we have to get rid of that thing somehow, I guess. Oh, no. I can just step off. Oh, he's pushing me back. Game over. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I, I, that was interesting. Uh, again, I I have an innate I, I have what feels like an innate prejudice against Nintendo. I don't know why. Maybe it's just again because I don't I'm not familiar with the properties, and they seem very uh. When I say foreign, I don't mean they seem like they come from another nation. I just mean they feel very alien to my experience with roguelikes. And I don't mean just Santiago's games. I mean like uh, Nintendo games do. My my experience with gaming, I guess. Um, having avoided that entire generation is always usually a, a cute, a cute element uh, associated with a lot of older Nintendo games too. I understand there's an actual Japanese word for that when you you incorporate a, a cute element deliberately into your into your game or, or property. Um, it's like Katsui or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. If I just said something that's not, if I just said a word that is like a, a swear word or something in Jap Japanese, I apologize. It was just like a random swear, or a random word. Um. Well, anyways, that was, uh, that was Mega Man RL. Um, I'll close out this 2008 uh, Seven Day Roguelike Challenge by, by saying, um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna turn this down on my ears. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Santiago Zapata as a person, um, in the sense that he, he created it and, uh, and, and certainly still is strongly associated with the Temple of the Roguelike Forums, which is a, an online, uh, community where you can talk about roguelikes, um, which is awesome. I, I just saw him, he did, gave a speech as well at the uh, most recent uh, Seven Day Roguelike uh, festival? Uh, party? The Seven Day Roguelike dealy thing? Um, wherever that was this past year. The celebration. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Why couldn't I find that word? Um, about defining, further defining what a roguelike is. And, and my, my point is, he is a huge, huge, huge part of the roguelike community, the traditional roguelike community. Um, so super massive respect to him. I've enjoyed this game quite a bit. I haven't always enjoyed some of his in the past. With Metroid RL, I couldn't quite figure it out. Um, Castlevania RL was very well done and, and very cool, but it had a lot of... It was very frantic, um, which is just not my style of play. Um, so I'm intrigued to see what else he comes out with, because he's also a very, very prolific um, roguelike designer, and I know that some of his later ones are... divorce themselves from the N Nintendo universe, as far as I can see, uh, scanning ahead. Maybe even his next one for the next challenge, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're going to move on next uh, to a, a little roguelike called Alien Hack. It was only recently released on, oh, on Temple of the Roguelike forums, where I wouldn't have uh, where I wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for Santiago's uh, creation of those forums. Um, yeah, I'll talk about the game when I when I play it. When I talk about it here. That would be silly. Um, let's just press space to continue. Dr. Light Experiment Record for Jeff. This robot was destroyed by a Susie bot. And it's funny, our very first game playing, when we didn't know what we were doing, we got the best score. Store experiment info? Yeah, of course do that. Okay, press space. And see high scores. It's funny, press C to see high scores. And what is B continue? I guess we can't probably because we don't have a game going. No, nothing happens. Let's just press D for quit. MIDI tracks incidentally by George E. Fuentes. Arrow and X. Mega Man RL version 0.0.8. .0 Clean exit. Thank you for playing. Press any key to continue. Alright, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.